Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am so excited. I have been recording C Block with Matthias and we are having a great time. It's a bit brain breaky. Be forewarned, it's much quieter than my usual series because both of our brains are being pulverized at the same time. But um, if you're new to Factorio, those are really complicated mod packs and they're so much fun once you get the hang of this game. So, highly recommended to play complicated mod packs not necessarily c block because c block is yeah not ideal but anyway um it's fun to watch nonetheless because we have a really good great conversation too so um what we have now is we have a mall we have a mall uh and it's great we were gonna get started in building our train track uh outpost our basically our base station that's what it is uh, oh, uh, we have so much stone here. Why do we have all this stone? I don't really know why we have all that stone. Um, what we can do is actually do a thing here for, for, for some recycling here. So I'm just going to put in a box and just feed stone from the box. Let's just chuck it in there. And that will do do wonders for this. Also, we can... Let's see, we can actually take the solar panels up to solar panel land, uh, and that will be good. Also, um, looks like we can build this thing here. Big sandy rock is in the way. Ah, there it is. Yes, of course. Okay, that's why that one was looking a bit weird. Okay, and here's our box. I have fixed the blueprints, by the way, for this, so... Those can be sorted. That looked really weird. Okay. It's fine though. We got it. Let's get another box. But we can actually get some iron on the way up because there's plenty on the lines and we can just easily craft it by hand here and a lot faster than just waiting there uh, for no reason. So, I mean, not no reason, but yeah, it's not very efficient. So let's go down here. And we got train tracks. We're going to start building this train station. Let me drop off this uh, iron ore into these smelting smelters right now. Uh, I would like to build the rest of this smelting column soon uh, because we, we are going to need all of that um, stuff. Anyway, uh, we're going to build train tracks right now. Uh, obviously, we don't have any bots at the moment, but we're going to try to do our best. Now, um, it's really important. Oh, we didn't get any signals either. Darn it. Well, they're not difficult to build. So that's, there is that. Okay. And we need to get some power poles working here. Apparently you can click drag the power poles around and they will only appear in the spots that they are going to appear in. I also, I also forgot to get big power poles, so there is that additional annoyance and problem. Uh, hello? Okay, I was just too far from that one. Usually these are in a line upward. It's pretty handy this to just like click drag over them. Okay, it looks like I need to go buy more power poles at the mall. We're kind of running out. Oh no, we're not. We have 46. We're good. Okay, keep on going. The nice thing is, this is uh, the first, ver the very first stop. It is what is called the building train. That is a specialty construction that I made. Um, basically, it helps you build outposts. So you can load up this train, and when you get robots, it will load automatically because of how the robots work. You put in provider chests, which are basically like they collect the products, like kind of like how the chests are that we were using. They are red, as you may have guessed. Um, might have guessed that because all of those red ones, they're collecting materials for us. Um, and they, uh, 
Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna try to trace the lines. We're like little kids here, tracing all of our blueprints here. Uh, anyway, they are those collect materials and then there are blue chests that request materials. So the blue chests require a lot more um, investment in technology, quite a lot of investment in fact. So um, we'll get to those in a bit though. Uh, yeah. Let's go here, there we go, there we go. There we are. Okay, there we are. Ah. To delete this rock. The good thing is the coal patch here is kind of uh, still accessible. Which is very cool. We don't have to like completely forgo this or tear out stuff to use it. So that's really nice. Now, when you build this, by the way, it's extremely important that you follow exactly which signals are written in the blueprint because um, if you use the wrong signal, it will mess up. Okay. Oh, no. Control Z to undo. Oh, God. Wow, I didn't know it would do that. I didn't realize you had to have robots to undo stuff. No. Good Lord thing. Why are you behaving like this? That ain't no fun. Okay, there we are. So basically we are getting, this is what is called a shunting yard. Uh, IRL is called a shunting yard. And this is where trains, uh, essentially they are, they, they, you can change their composition. They could be waiting for a station. Uh, usually in real life, trains don't wait for stations because it's too expensive to keep them waiting. So with, um, but this is the closest structure to, to real life there is like i said it's called a shunting yard so um those are useful we're going to use those in various ways to uh have trains possibly waiting on the line oh that's not good oh that's okay it's okay not bad so this is our oil train that's going to bring some oil into us i think or is it i forget if it's an oil out or oil in train We'll find out. It doesn't really matter right now. We're going to, we don't have oil yet, um, but that is going to be one of the things that we're going to get quickly here. Um, quickly being a relative term, of course. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to build a building train for us uh, because what, what I'm going to do is as soon as I finish most of this building here on the station itself, I want to dump all of our inventory in the train uh, so that we can have supplies and we can just shuttle stuff upward toward uh, this area uh, so we can load the train sort of limitedly that way. We could, I don't know if we can actually make a uh, an actual building train or like a belt fed building train. I did that in the Belt Diva series. That was epic. Like I didn't use any robots for it. It was pretty darn cool. And um uh, some of the earliest followers of my channel, Matthias actually might know that one. I know he's been following my channel like for a very long time, but I don't remember what series he started watching. Um, but there are people who are still following my channel after all these years. It's been like six years or almost seven since I've had my channel. And um, some people will remember the amazing Belt Viva series. Uh, that one was fabulous. And I decided it's called the Belt Diva because I refuse to do any logistics bots. I mean, I, I think I did construction, maybe. Did I? I don't even remember if I did construction or not. But I did do, um, it was a totally vanilla series and I, and I just did all kinds of fun stuff with belts. It was like belt shenanigans to the max. Fantastic. 
Uh, all right, so let's go this way and go down. Boom. Let's get all this in here. So, okay, there we go. So now we need train stops, which did we pick up any? No, of course we did not. Why would, why would we pick up train stops? Who needs train stops for God's sake? What a silly idea. All right, let's take this stuff down. Uh, yep. These are the solar panels and accumulators. Just using um, these uh, undergroundies to go over the signals. Because we do actually need these signals there. Don't, don't think we can do without them. Okay, there we cannot go. Okay, we're going to get rid of that because we don't actually need that information. We can just take this across so we actually make this work. Okay, there we go, and there we go. So these are these are little splitters that get us to having a train station. And um, we're going to have the solar panels in one set of boxes and the accumulators in another set of boxes, as you see. Okay, let's go here and here we're gonna replace these green ones right now with with those that's fine okay very good are we we actually are done good 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 okay so let's put in a locomotive here we don't have any cars let me get some steel and make some cars uh i don't know why we actually have problems with electricity let's see what's going on here looks like there's a break right here just to the left here Ah oh, yes, that would make sense. Is that better? Yes, they are they are thinking about charging. <laughs> they are thinking about it. Okay. I want to get another radar out here. Oh, we need the long distance power poles. I was gonna put one kind of at the end, but yeah, there's no sense in doing that right now. We need to get the other things real quick. Why did I not put all that oh, it's because we got so many of these new rocks. New rocks, yes, not old rocks, but new ones. Um, let's get steel. We have no steel yet on this belt. All right, let's get the rocks. Let's just put them in these uh, thingies. So there we go. We need to go down. We really need to get more of steel made because it's already been used. It's done. Look at this. Oh, wait, is that steel? No, it's not steel. No, 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 it's right here. It's, it's next to green circuits. We will be all the way down. Yeah, we're already down at the end of the line here. Let's go ahead and uh, pick up the cars from the mall. We also don't have these. Oh, wow, because we didn't have any iron rods. Are we out of power? Why are we out of power? Why are we out of power? Picking up cars, railroad cars. I don't understand why we're out of power. We shouldn't be. Do we have problems with um, the steam engines? Let's go look. Let's see. We can't look on our radar, by the way, because the radar radar needs power. Let's see, if we look here, we don't actually see much. We need to go look. I don't know why we don't have power. It looks like we're out of coal. That could be the problem. Um, okay, or it could be something else. Why is there no coal getting there? Oh. Because the copper line is stopped up. Right. This is the copper line that goes to the other area. Hmm. So what's happened is... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's fix this. We need to fix it. Um, so this copper goes here. So this copper needs to turn around and go this way. And that will get the coal flowing again. Let's see, can I go through here? Maybe, maybe that way. Okay, yep, we can do that. There's a, there's a way this way.
Okay, and... So we can take the second line. Looks like the second line is not in usage right now for coal. Okay, so... There we go. Okay, so that should help matter somewhat. Okay, yeah, and the burner inserter self-started there, so that was good. Um, yes, that should fix it for now, but that was a bad problem. That was a pretty bad problem. It might be safer to do it the other way around, like filter it on the coal side or on the copper side instead of the coal side. Yeah, I think that's much better, but... It's okay. I don't think we'll have this problem again. <laughs> she says, fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's make sure that we have a copper assembly. I don't think we do. We definitely need to go and get more furnaces. Oh, no, we have some actually. Never mind. We have some. So this new set is coming in here. Let's cut down this tree and that tree. Let's run away and... Oh, that's bad. I forgot that it kills stuff that's already there. Whoops. When we were doing it in, in spots where it wasn't already there, it's okay. But here, it doesn't work as well. Ah, and I have no splitters. Let's go and get some splitters. Go to the belt mall. It's okay, it's not far. There we go. What do we need belts? Not really. We could take a couple, though. Oh, yes. You know what? We're going to take them all because we can also dump them into the building train. Uh, all this stuff. Actually, let's grab everything we can here. Get these belts. And we can put them in the building train once we're up there. Um, let's go shopping kind of for other stuff as well. Let's get some, some rails. We get some under these. Get Okay. And now inventory is full and that's just fine. And that means we can do a bunch of stuff. Oh, we need these big electric poles. Are we making those? I think we're making those in the in the boutiques. I think we are. There they are, except there are no those. Hmm. Seem to have forgotten those. They're behind the power pole, so I didn't see them. That's definitely not ideal. Okay, we'll have to come back for those. Okay. We'll go ahead and dump these bits of coal into these furnaces real quick. And then we start building again. It will be so good when we finally get robots so that they can build this stuff for us. That is going to be great. I think you're going to love that. But to get robots, we need um, oil products. So that's what we're going to do kind of next after this uh as soon as we build this smelter which we need to to do to get rid of this copper this is an emergency kind of thing this is not optional just fyi um we're gonna we're gonna get the other stuff done after that let's go here we are All right, nice. And I have no inserters. Dang it. Like every time you think you have enough of something, then you don't. Let's go to the building train and let's dump some stuff off. I think that's a good idea right now because it's, it's you know, less trips back and forth, basically. Okay, here we go. And there we go. And I forgot to take off that magical thing. And I forgot to get train stations. That's no good. So initially, we're just going to put the cars in place here. And I have filtered them in when I've done the, um, the building mode. So if you control click your inventory, you can put stuff in there. You can put everything from your inventory into 
the train or into the the assembler okay so here wait what is going on here that's not good we should not have any gaps at all uh i'm gonna have to check that what that is and i will fix it in the blueprint um so initially we're not going to use blue belts initially we're going to use uh yellow belts when we're doing stuff so i'm going to change all these out for yellow ones there we go. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Because we should have no empty spaces in here. Whoops. Uh, yeah, all right. Let's change these out for... Whoops. We were going to have these. Five, okay. And then these were going to be yellow splitters. There we go. Ha, ah, what is in there? What are those meant to be? Let's see what we got. Um, let's see. I can't do look at this because of the tree. That's so weird. Okay, red inserters are those. Okay. This one looks empty. That one is also empty. We have power poles, uh machines inserters yeah okay splitters thingies thingies I guess maybe they're meant to be empty um, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this one over here and then this one over there that one over there and then just get rid of these and then we can just close it off like that I think that's the way to do it. Let's go get some more undergroundies and stuff. We can also, uh, oh, yeah, we have red, red there. Yeah, mm hmm We can actually do this. The rest are gonna be stack inserters, which we can't make yet since we need red chips for them. But these are those, okay. Is there anything else we can put in the train? I'm just gonna shift or control click everything that we have in here. Nope, and this is the garbage car at the end, so don't put anything in there. But yeah, it looks like we're doing pretty well. We can get some signals, because we also need to signal this entire area. Um, looking good, looking good. And for these, I can go ahead and just kind of drag some of these down as we're walking, so we you know don't waste the movement. And I think we needed some yellow inserters. That's what we were stuck on with the uh, copper one. Now, remember, those never need to be blue inserters unless you get to blue belts. So right now, we really don't need blue inserters there at all. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. Grab the uh, those inserters. Uh, train stations, yes. Uh, signals, all of those. Do we need more miners? Yes, we do actually need miners to put into the train. I'll grab the machines as well to put into the train. And I want to get some stacks of pipe. Actually, let's grab all the pipe we can and, and shove it into the train as well. Uh, do we need lights? Yeah, we do need lights and radar. And furnaces. We can actually start replacing the furnaces. That's a good idea. Uh, tanks we probably can put in the train and trains we need or we only have one locomotive let's get the power poles though and more power poles here and a couple more stacks of train track a few more stacks there we go all right nice very nice any more rock to go in there no it's no more stone okay it's fine some of this like i said is going to go into the train and some of it we're just going to build with right now do we have any more furnaces did i build a furnace maker i don't think i did i was gonna make one like around here somewhere um let's just make one because i don't think we have one and it would be nice to get furnaces made so here we go and into a box which we don't have any more of Okay, furnaces. That's oh no, we don't need any more. That's right, because we decided we are not going to use them. And the reason we're not going to use them is because we're using steel furnaces. 
So those uh, run at twice the speed and use the same amount of fuel. So essentially, essentially it's half the, the fuel per craft. And here, oh, we don't have any red belts, do we? No, I thought we had some. Anyway, we need to go and get some. But um, we can use uh, steel furnaces here instead of these. So I'm gonna go and put these down here instead. And what we really need to do is have them matching because they are faster. So we want to make sure that they're the same speed on this side here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just use these. All right. Really need to get more steel on the line because it's super, super needed. Why is there no coal? Oh, there's the coal. Okay. I just missed seeing it. I was like, the inside line of coal. Why is it not getting... Why is it not happening there? All right, now we can go back to the trains and load some of the things, like the mining drills in here and whatever else is needed there. Uh, we do want some power poles to work with, so I'll take 50 out there. And then this one, we can take signals out to work with. Um, and then... We're going to need some train tracks, but we don't need it right now. We can leave them there for now. But pipes, let's go and load the pipes into the train as well. Um, anything else? I think we're good. Except for train stations. Let's pick, take those out and put them out right now. So those will um, those will automatically take the names that I've give them, given them in the blueprint and the colors, as you see. And they should all be on the same line as well to make it more convenient. And then we take and get some signals going on here. This is the tedious part that I really wish I had the nanobots and stuff for. There's so many and it's like you don't want to miss them and they're kind of hard to see because, you know, they have these markings on here. The positioning little uh, blips as well as, you know, the ghost underneath and it's a bit hard to see the ghost at times. So anyway, you'll never have um, signals in the middle of a station. And on these, we're going to have signals as soon as they peel off from this line here. So... Uh, in general, also, you will not want to have any signals in this section because it has to do with how the trains back up against each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a chain signal at the head of these lines here. Okay, these need to go away. So I can put proper signaling signals here. Okay, and each of these gets a chain signal. And what the chain signal does is it looks ahead and sees if the next signal is a particular color. And if there's a train in the block, there you see, blocks are, are delineated with colors. So you th see this entire section from this signal to that signal is one block. It's all blue. These are, you know, uh, or uh, mm, purple, 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 blue, whatever. It doesn't matter the color. It just matters that it's a continuous stretch of rail. If there is a train in that stretch of rail, uh, then it will be red. And then this thing, if there's a train wanting to go to that station, it will stop. Um, when the when the signal is blue like this, it means that signals ahead can be either red or green. It just depends what specific tr station that train is going to, the one that would be on the waiting track in the shunting yard. So anyway, the um, the chain signal 
is important because it makes the train wait here. If this were to be a regular signal, the train would just pull up here and then block the rest of the line. Meanwhile, there's other trains waiting to go to all these different tracks. So it's really important to have that chain signal right there. So let's go and get regular signals here, block signals. Okay, and then we have a chain signal here in this instance. What it does, it allows the train to recalculate the path. So when it leaves the station, it calculates the entire path and it will ch have chosen one of these tracks. But by the time the train gets here, one of these tracks may be full. So the chain signal here allows the train to recalculate a path and choose an empty, uh, essentially parking space for there. So that's really important there. And the chain signals in this instance here allow the train to make sure that they can make the entire crossing without blocking it. So this one looks ahead to see if this one is green so it can it can finish crossing this instead of blocking, you know, the cross path. Pretty important for this instance here as well. Okay, so here and there. Oh, we have no more we have no more tracks. Oh no. Okay, so the train station is just about done. And I think we're going to need to get some, uh, well, some places to go to. But I think what I want to do, why don't we work on the belts for this train station first? I think, we, what are we lacking most of, I guess? We have one more area of iron and two more for copper. Wait, do we have, yeah, two more for copper. We need to put in these inserters, though. So maybe we should get a copper train running. We could, I guess. Um, or we could get oil running. That's another option. That probably is going to be needed. What's going on here? Why do we have no power? Yo. What's going on with power? I thought we were really well settled on power, but now it's like, hello? Why is this not working? Because there's no, mm, no usage of copper. That's why. I forgot to finish setting up the thing. So of course, of course, dang it. Oh, now we're in, we're in a bit of trouble now. This is not actually good. This is actually really bad because, because now we have to actually pull copper off the line or hand feed coal, which is also an option. I guess we could do that that way. That would be okay. Um, do we have any more steel furnaces? Yes, we do. I'll go ahead and just manually replace these and just use up what we have pretty much. And these can actually take red belts now because they smelt twice as fast. Okay. And okay. Recycling, recycling. Okay. So what we need is to hand feed the, um, the boilers right now until we get this stuff moving again. Yep. Darn it. Okay, let's just do this. Have a stack in each one. Anyway, that should fix it for a while. Because the copper is going to get used then, and yeah. All right. Yeah, we really need... We need to get this moving. Uh, it's not moving fast, that's for sure. I wonder if it's because it doesn't oh it's it's moving somewhere. All right, let's uh we need we need power poles. That is the main problem. Okay, let's get the power poles in. All right, and let's get more inserters cuz that will help move that copper along better. 
And what we can do is um, prioritize the copper differently as well. That is another thing we can do to help this situation. Okay, let's click this. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, we were here. Whoopsies. We went a little bit too far. And there we go. Let's just click these in. And then we will reprioritize because in reality, these... Um, the first few furnaces on the bus, like, in reality, we are allocating one full line of 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 iron and and two full lines of copper to the uh the green circuit array in fact usually i put them off bus because i don't usually uh whoopsies i don't even put them on the bus what is why is this not working oh because there's no coal um Looks like there's very little coal reaching here, so maybe we make some coal mines by the by the new thingy. Okay, so here we can actually just take this off the bus and do that. And this one can split in half maybe. And this can go straight toward here. Rotate there, go there, and do that. Now we haven't done any of that yet but we can let's see um we'll take a few more belts here okay and we'll go down here i also want to start getting some of the oil thingies made we need to replop this blueprint real quick Let's do that. Let's get boutiques because we have researched a lot since we first plopped this mall so let's go and add some stuff in here. Um, yeah, here we go. We have pump jacks and we have other things. Looks like we're still really short on steel. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Something else happened. Oh, we messed that up. Okay. That'll get better though. It's getting better. It's getting better. Um, anything we need to pick up here? Kind of pick up some train stations maybe. Do we have any pumps? We do. We have pumps. That's great. Uh, we can pick up an extra packet of these. Maybe... Nah, we're fine on chain signals. We don't need any more. Take a few of these, though. Because I think we're going to need some. These guys, they need more steel. This needs steel. Lots of these need, need stuff and things. So, I think we're kind of getting short on coal. Let's see, is it enough? Is it, it is actually coming down now. I think it was a power issue maybe. And also it takes a while to spin up and, and get some more stuff added there. But I do think we can supplement it from the coal patch that we have down there. I think that would be a, a good idea. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Cause yeah, it's, it's just really trickling in. It's a bit sad. <laughs> it's a tiny bit sad there. Um, What we can do is actually bring it Bring it in where? We can bring it in up top, I think. It's probably the best place to bring it in. Here. Um, if we can get it right there. Or above here, even, would be good. That would be nice. Okay, so... Oh, there's my Eleonora. You can hear her meowing. My goodness. She was naughty today. And she snuck out of the house. And I don't know how she got outside. Because we never let them outside. Um, but she did. And, uh... Yep, the naughtiness was real. Uh, I was... She's very skittish, so it was hard to get her back inside. Because she just keeps running away from you, even, you know, if you're her person. She just gets a little bit scared, and... She's kind of, like, irrational. Um, so... But I got her eventually, so that was good.
There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Nope. Trying to get this moved along here. I think tomorrow or in, yeah, in tomorrow's episode, we're going to start on, um, we're going to start on oil. We're going to start with a fresh episode and you can see how the oil is done. It's, uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, a lot of people are a little bit scared of oil and they shouldn't be because it is very doable and it's not hard. And I'm going to show you the way to make it easy. Um, and I hope that is going to be inspiring to you and make it make it more accessible to you as well. So let's see, we can do this. Oh, there's even more. Okay. Start this way and go down. Okay. Oh. All right, let's go back down here, connect all those ones, and let's get these guys going. Oh boy, this was not ideal. There we go, and up here. Oh, I hate not having squeak through. Also, the sometimes the um, the what you call it, the um, footprint of these things is so big, it's it's quite uh, annoying, and you can't really pass by it very well. All right, we're gonna make these big power poles. One right here, and then one right there. Okay, very nice. Uh, squeak through basically reduces that footprint, so it makes it a lot easier to, to work with. All right, so now we're actually using this lovely coal patch that we have gotten. Oh, I ran out of those, but we do have the pumps because we brought them back in. Hooray. Uh, all right. Okay, so there's that. I think I put the pumps in the uh, building train. That's why we don't have them. Okay. I'll go put the rest of these inserters in. Oh, we already have too many inserters. Never mind. Uh, I'll take 50 of these out again. Okay, so... Though, we might want to get some more iron just to fill out this steel, because it would be nice to have more steel. Uh, that is definitely needed, wanted. Uh, because, yeah. And the steel is kind of funny, because when we take the steel out, uh, it it's going to connect directly to the other steel, because one of these steel things does not fill up um, one belt. It fills up one fifth of a belt. Uh, there we go, yep. So it takes five of these big arrays to fill up one yellow belt or one you know, current level belt, I should say. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Things are happening, uh, so we might want to get iron, but that is, I think, a good stopping place for us today uh, because we have uh, kind of gotten to our goals today and we've gotten finished with a lot of things. I think we really want to go next time and probably we will go and seek out some oil. Maybe we'll also build our oil plant I don't know if we're going to or not. Let's just put these junk items in here. Um, because what we need to do is we need to have stuff made. 
Like, we need to have these pump jacks made, and right now, the steel is not quite getting to them. Looks like it's being made into these uh, cisterns here. Oh, we are getting some chemical plants. That's good. But we really need to get the pump jacks made, uh, especially. So either we gather up some steel and just feed it, hand feed it, or we do something else. But I think that's going to have to do it for us right now. I mean, we could let them all just run, or the boutiques just run and, and get it for us in a bit. Uh, maybe even create some more steel making uh, things to increase production. But for now, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.